Rabbit's New Rug by Judy Delton. Rabbit had a new rug in his house. The Flora Floor Store had just delivered it. The rug had large red tulips on it and small yellow daisies. It had green leaves and light blue snapdragons. Rabbit clapped his paws together. My new rug is so pretty. I'll call my friends over to see it. Rabbit dialed Fox's number. I'll be over as soon as my strawberry jam is cooked, he said. Then Rabbit called Owl. I'll come as soon as I finish my nap, he said sleepily, looking at his watch. Rabbit was waiting at his door for his friends. When Fox arrived, he looked over Rabbit's shoulder at the new rug. What a beautiful rug, he said. What fine looking red flowers. Red is my favorite color, you know. Fox began to walk into the house. Don't walk on the rug, shouted Rabbit, holding up a paw. Look, Rabbit, you invited me over. Am I supposed to stand outside? Walk along the edges of the room then, said Rabbit. Just don't step on the rug. Fox sighed and squeezed close to the wall. I hope you wiped your feet on the mat, scolded Rabbit. You really should have worn galoshes in this weather. Rabbit, it is summer. No one wears galoshes in summer. Here, I brought a jar of jam for you. Thank you, Fox, but we'd better not open it. Some might get on my rug and leave a terrible sticky spot. It wouldn't show if it fell on the red flowers, said Fox under his breath. Soon Owl came to the door. He handed Rabbit a plate of brownies. From the bakery, he yawned. I wanted to bring a treat. I didn't have time to bake so early in the day. Early, said Fox. It is two o'clock. The day is nearly half over. Not for me, said Owl. It hasn't even begun yet. Thank you for the brownies, Owl, said Rabbit. But we had better not eat them. Someone might spill crumbs on my new rug. Owl looked at the rug. That is a fine rug, Rabbit. Almost too pretty to walk on. That's why I'm standing here near the wall, muttered Fox. Just then Raccoon came by and looked in the door. Why, Rabbit? You have a new rug, he said, and then he noticed his friends leaning up against the wall. Raccoon wondered why they were standing there. But before he could say anything, Rabbit asked, Are you molting, Raccoon? Black hair would look bad on this new rug. No, no, I'm not molting, said Raccoon. I think birds molt he said, frowning at Owl. The animals stood in a row along the wall and admired Rabbit's new rug. The flowers look real enough to pick, said Fox. The sun makes them sparkle, said Owl. It's such a cheerful rug, said Rabbit happily. Perhaps we should leave, murmured Raccoon. The animals filed out the door. Goodbye, called Rabbit. The next day, Rabbit admired his new rug all day long. He felt how soft it was. He vacuumed and brushed it three times. He used his carpet sweeper twice. What a handsome rug, he said to himself. I have never seen another like it. No one in the woods has such a colorful one. Every day, Rabbit admired his rug. Every day, he walked around the rug so he wouldn't make footprints on it. And every day, he was alone. No one came to see him. A week went by. One morning, Rabbit said to himself, 
It sure is quiet around here. I would bake, but I may get flour on my rug. I would sew, but the threads and lint would fall all over it. The hours grew longer and longer. Rabbit had read all his books, and he was tired of watching TV. Tears came to his eyes. A rug isn't much company, he said. I miss my friends. The next day, Rabbit called Fox, an owl, and Raccoon on the telephone. I'm having a party this afternoon, he said to each of them. I would like you to come. A party, they each said in turn. Ha, huh, that should be fun, thought Fox. All of us squeezing next to the wall. Meanwhile, Rabbit hung balloons and streamers in his living room and put flowers on the table. He planned games and bought prizes for the winners. At two o'clock, the animals arrived at Rabbit's house. Fox looked suspicious. Raccoon looked doubtful. Owl looked sleepy. Fox knocked on the door. Maybe the party's in the yard, said Raccoon, looking around. Just then, Rabbit opened the door. Come in, he said happily. I'm so glad to see you. But, said Fox, what about your new rug? What about it, said Rabbit. Does that mean we can walk on it? asked Raccoon. Rabbit nodded. We'll all be, said Owl, rubbing his eyes. And so they all went inside. The friends sang Old MacDonald Had a Farm and played Pin the Tail on the Donkey. They laughed and talked, and then they ate pie and cake and nuts and candy. Rabbit did not say anything when crumbs found the floor. What a great party, said Fox. What good food, said Raccoon. It is a fine new rug celebration, said Owl, who is now wide awake. After everyone left, Rabbit sat in his rocking chair. He rocked back and forth on his new rug. He looked at the bright flowers. All around him he saw streamers and balloons and leftover food. Rabbit yawned, and then he smiled. There's nothing like old friends to help break in a new rug, he said. The end.